This shorty is a quick look at the reinforced concrete footings for the building. The footing for the foundation takes all of the loads of the building and spreads them out on the ground. This includes the lateral loads as well as the gravity loads acting on the frame for the building. Without a footing, the loads would penetrate the soil. The principle of the footing, therefore, is to spread the load across the surface of the ground. The structure that acts to spread this load is called a spread footing. The more load coming from above, the wider the spread and the bigger the footing. If the load is really great, then piers are cast under the footings to transfer the loads deeper into the ground. In order for the footing to take these loads, it needs to be very strong. Concrete makes the most efficient footing for a building, but concrete alone would only crack under the load, so we use reinforced concrete. These are steel reinforcing bars that are embedded in the concrete in two directions. Once in place, the bars tie the concrete together and they add to the bending stress when under the, the load of the column above. Here you can see there are grids of rebar at the bottom and top of the concrete footing. Once in place, the rebar ties the concrete together. This adds to the bending strength when under the load of the column above. So the columns or the pilasters carry the load from the concrete or steel frame above and then transfer that load to the top of the footing or to the footing in general and then the footing spreads that load across the ground. So there is a spread footing under every column and pilaster for the building. A grade beam is used to tie the columns together. This is also called a continuous footing if, the carry, if, if that grade beam carries some load from above. In this building, the foundation walls rest on these grade beams, so the grade beams work to tie the column and pilaster footings together and carry the load as a continuous footing. Reinforcing in the grade beam works in exactly the same way. Strengthen the concrete, prevent it from cracking, and give it some resistance to bending. What's interesting is all of this information is included in a single two-dimensional detail.